Okay, so here's my Axel SCX-10 Dingo kit. I know a lot of people don't like this body, but after I put a paint job on it and got it all hooked up, I actually really like it. But today's video is going to be about uh, how I got these lights into the bumper as well as into the actual body of the car. So let's get started taking a look. Today we're going to try and get the lights hooked up that are just going to be actually permanently on the aircraft on the frame. And again, I'm sorry if my uh, audio is real bad. It is like 200 degrees up here, so I have my uh, fan going as well as the air conditioner. So hopefully it's not too terrible to listen to. Here is the uh, light kit that I'm going to try and put on. I actually have an old one of these from an old truck that I'm going to try and reuse as well as put on a new one. Uh, but I do enjoy these kits I've used in the past, like I said, they are very simple. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. This is from my uh, original SCX-10. I got the RAM body the first time around. And I did try and hook some lights up to this one with this blue box here. So uh, it worked out alright. It was a little tough because it was already painted, but I am going to have to get this blue box out because I am going to use it on this new axle here along with some other uh, light kits that are coming. So across the front here, we have two outboard lights and two center lights. We got all four of these hooked up, so now we gotta get to the AF section and hook up those lights, figure out what color we wanna use. So for the AF bumper, I hooked up the lights prior to actually hooking it up to the chassis. Probably a better idea, it was a little easier. And I did try, I'm gonna try this, don't know if it'll work. It doesn't look great right here, but hopefully it looks better lit up. I have a red and an orange in um, each of these light positions here. I figured I got the wires, try something different. I did not glue them in place or anything, so if I don't like it, I can always pull them out. So let's get this hooked up. So now we have to get into the uh, receiver. That's closed off here in this box. Looks like we got some additional spaces down there. We'll receive out so you can't get this done. So I know this is a mess, but I have more lights coming. So instead of getting everything dressed in, I think I might wait for those lights to come. So the lights have lit up, obviously a pretty good sign. Let's throw the, uh, the truck body on top, see how it looks. So this is with just the bumper lights installed. Bumper lights installed from the front. Other set of lights that are going to go actually up here in the headlight region. So that's going to be another project there. I'm actually going to 3D print some light buckets. See if I can't make that better looking. Alright, so here I just quickly modeled up some 3D light buckets. We'll get them over to the printer. Alright, so I've 3D printed some light buckets for the uh, dingo body. So these are the headlights. So upside down there. So the top will be for the whites and the blues. The bottom will be for like, a turn signal style. Two of those right and left. The aft setup will look something like this. The outboard lights will have a turn signal and the reds for some brake lights. I'm going to try and put in some red lights here, see what that looks like. I don't think the area that I have is actually intended for lights, but we'll see. And this is the uh, right-hand outboard light. We'll have some turn signals, red lights in there as well. This is all in addition to the lights that are already wired up for the, uh, the bumpers. My light kits will include another one of these blue box, simple 12-light uh, kits, as well as this hopped-up options light kit that has some um, simple turning signal wiring a lot of wires to figure out though so we'll see if we can start getting this all uh, wired up 
So we got everything hooked up with the wire leads hanging off of them. So now we're going to try and get them hooked up to the actual truck body and then we'll work on getting them dressed in. Just did a quick setup of the light. It's pretty bright. I just wanted to make sure that the light wouldn't shine through the actual truck body. See, it's, it's uh, impressively bright, probably too much. There's your turn signal. You can see I have the uh, light boxes installed and the lights are all lit up. Starting to dress in the wires a little bit here. I'd like to make some compromises on how I dress the wires in as I did run out of ports on some of these controllers. You can tell it's a wiring mess right now. The next time we come back, it should look a lot cleaner. Here's the wiring relatively cleaned up. Still have some loose ends I got to uh, figure out exactly what I'm doing with. I ordered some more components here. So I don't want to button it up completely just yet. But ultimately, I think it looks a lot cleaner. Now let's try and get the whole thing suited up and go for a run. So here's the uh, finished product of the SCX-10 with the lights all added. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section if you guys have any general observations, questions, anything like that. I'll definitely try and answer them. As well as subscribe. Let me know if you're interested in, in this kind of content. I've got some plans for some other custom mods I'd like to do this thing and really focus on some custom designs that I can mock up on the computer here, get it on the 3D printer, and get it onto the, uh, the truck. Again, thanks for following along.